His latest book is Letters from an Astrophysicist. Please welcome one of the greats on the planet, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Thank you. Look at that tie. Look Thank at that you. tie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I do. This is my favorite tie, like if you're eating spaghetti sauce. Yeah. Um, it's Never just another it. nebula if you get a stain on it, you know. It, no one knows the difference. Yeah. That's a good tip for a date, because spaghetti you should never have on a first date, but if you wear this tie... That's what I hear. You're, That's you're right. good. Um, before we get to all things science, which mm -hmm. we're so excited about, sure. we do want to talk about something that happened this past year. Mm -hmm. Three women accused you of sexual misconduct, but investigations by your employers, they've now been completed, mm -hmm. and based on the results, you'll remain head of the Hayden Planetarium and both of your shows, Star Talk and Cosmos. Mm -hmm. What has this year been like for you? How challenging has it been? Sounds great. Well, <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Um, well, thanks, thank, thanks for asking. It was a, um, a year, long year. Yeah. And uh, I can say that after the investigations completed uh, back in March, um, I was able to sort of refocus my energies because it's, uh, before then, it was very difficult to do so. <coughs> and I, I, what I do is try to bring the universe down to earth, and I, I see myself as a servant of the public's appetite for learning uh, about the universe, and uh, it's what I do, it's, it's all I do. And so to get back to work and maintain that has been uh, good for me, uh, but in there has been the support of friends and family and, and fans even, just, uh, I had not fully appreciated how important that was mm -hmm. to, as a buoyant force in one's life. And so... A good support system. Yeah, yeah. That, that's right, that's right. So that, that's how I felt about this past year, but thank, thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. And you've yeah. been cleared for everything, so we start again. We're going, we're on, okay. going, we're moving. All right. Yeah. So let's get down to business. <laughs> yes! Ooh. You think you Thanos or something? Just snapping your fingers? No, I'm just It's Whoopi Goldberg. Come on. Come on now. You know, I don't have a lot of magic, but what I got, I use. Right. Listen, billionaire Elon Musk just unveiled <laughs> the prototype for his latest SpaceX rocket, which he says will fly to the moon and Mars and beyond. He says he, he this could make space travel as common as flying uh, by 20. 24. Wow. Um, That's in like five years. That's around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, 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 right. Not that far yeah. from now. Your thoughts? <laughs> oh, so I, I don't. You you need people like that among us yes. with that level of ambition. Yes. Technological <laughs> ambition yes. and and vision. Yes. So I don't have a problem with that. What I'm waiting for is for him to send his mother on that mission. Then I'm then I'm good for it. <laughs> Well, there's been explosions, okay. right? You, like, I'm saying, then it's yeah. if he's all the people, all the engineers send their mommy on the thing, and they come back fine. And then you get on. Then I get on. All right. <laughs> Can't get so, mad at that. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You first. Yeah. You why first. Doesn't he spend some of, why doesn't he spend some of that money on this planet before he starts going to all these other ones? Oh, oh. Oh, Do you yeah. really want to go there? Well, I'm just, I'm just asking okay. the question. Okay, let's go back 10,000 years. The rainforest is burning. Fix L it. Let's go back 10,000 years, and we're all in a cave. <laughs> and I look out, and I see, oh, there's a mountain, there's a valley, there's a hill, oh, there's yeah. a river. I say, I want to go explore that. And you say, no, Neil. We have problems in the cave. Let's fix the cave problem first before you go out the cave. There were problems in the cave. Why not fix those before you start moving around? Because solutions <laughs> the cave exist might be outside. Far okay. beyond well, then, okay. the cave. But he has enough money to do both. So let's stay in the cave and out of the cave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. He's also had a lot of, like I said, explosions and things that have not gone well with it, so exactly. I'm with you. But that's evidence that he's actually on the frontier. Yeah. If you lead a life huh. where you've never made mistakes, you are not on any frontier at all. That's fair. Yeah. Fair that's enough. Great point. Just hope yeah. That and this tie with spaghetti. <laughs> Two great points today.